fitness, you know, many of us are busy. So busy, in fact, that we might think we don't have time to work out. We think that, but Taylor Vidmead from Fitness Together and Rocky Hill is here now, showing us how to make just fitness a part of your routine. That's the key, right? If we want to change behavior, yeah. we really have to make things a part of our routine. The consistency and the frequency is really what's going to maximize the benefits and your results of your training program. So sometimes, like, when we were getting, I used to work here on the weekends, and um, Mark Dixon and I, we would do lunch squats down the hallway to get the coffee. That, like, stuff I like that. that. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of cool. Work it in. Yeah, but, you know, some people, a lot of people say, I think it's a crutch. I think it's an excuse. I just don't have the time. I think everybody, well, I, I shouldn't say everybody, but I think the majority of people just have the time, just look at it as an excuse. Well, you know what? You're both right. And you just gave a really great example of a positive mindset of, listen, I'm going to get it done when we're on our way to get coffee, and a negative mindset. I don't have time. So typically, the first thing that people really need to change about their fitness routine is their mindset. They have to want to either maintain or improve their fitness level. Exactly. So you, until you really they gotta want, want it, it, right? it's not going to happen. But uh, we can want all we want, but they say, you know, dream without a plan is just a wish. So uh, how do you really make a smart goal? I, I know accountability is a big part of that and making something realistic, right? It's Small a huge changes. part of what we do. So there's a few different ways that you can tackle setting some goals for yourself. One of the first things that I like to do is have you challenge yourself. So sign up for something. You have to do, let's say, a 5K. Because we right? don't like failing. Or, yeah, exactly. Or you're going to go for a hike, but you've never hiked before. So we're starting inside on the treadmill. So at a certain point, you set a goal. Then you can work backward from that goal and set bite-sized pieces and okay. chip away at it. And I think that's piece. so important. Like, if it's a bite-sized piece, I can handle it. Like, my trainer has me do um, five minutes uh, at a 3.2, and then we jack it up for a minute. Of like 5.0 and then we go back to the 3.2 it's a bite size that I can attain for yeah, that one minute and that's and then a come. great mindset because that's something that you can achieve mm -hmm. it's achievable like okay I can do this for one minute exactly and that helps you learn that mindset of like I actually can do this and you start focusing more on what you can do and less on what you can't do and rewarding yourself, right? That's an important part. If we don't reward ourselves after, it's hard to keep those behavior changes. So I know part of that is what, how are you going to reward yourself for meeting this goal? Yeah. When you, and you get that sense of pride and the achievement out of it in itself. It's, all, it's rewarding. Um, I love when people start to realize during their exercises they can do things that they couldn't do before. Exactly. They can hold themselves stable and get into a deep lunge. Or my favorite is when people will literally call me and they'll be like, so I'm at the grocery store. I know this sounds silly, but I squatted down and picked up the bag of sugar instead of just bending, bending over, over and picking it up with my back. And I'm like, this is amazing. This I'm like, amazing. that's a win. <laughs> and it's about scheduling as well. I can't, people always say, work out before you go to work. I, I physically can't get up any earlier than I already am. Right, yeah. but for you, you could go. I even, can go after work. But it might make sense, like, right, that if you know you're going to go home and, like, not do it, then, like, go on your way home. Exactly. once you're in there. And yeah. by scheduling, you mean, like, put aside time as best you can. You need to be realistic about your schedule. And that's something that we really specialize in helping people with is trying to make it consistent. So maybe you don't have three hours a week, but you consistently have these 20 minute pockets on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're gonna go for a walk on Tuesdays and Thursdays for 20 minutes, that's 40 minutes of extra exercise. That's 160 minutes of exercise a month that we weren't getting before, Excellent. right? So that's bite size and that's how it grows. And that consistency and the frequency is what's going to help your body change to be healthier. Her name is Taylor Bidmead and she's just wonderful. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one <laughs> personal training, you can get in touch with Taylor and her team by visiting fitnesstogether.com slash Rocky Hill. At studios located on New Britain Avenue in Rocky Hill. They can help keep you honest. All right, turn, turn your head, Taylor. Still ahead on better. We're celebrating spring with some fabulous brunch ideas. Mm, don't go anywhere. We're back in two minutes. Lemore's already dancing. Lemore's already dancing. <laughs> Woo!